We'll be talking about uh, empowering women via media, via social media. Over the last year, I visited many conferences on gender equality, whether it was in Spain, um, it was in Hong Kong, and every time I was wondering whether it's a universal issue or whether it's a, a Dutch issue or a European issue even. And um, my conclusion was it's still a universal issue. And my conclusion was confirmed with an article by The Economist uh, in 2011. You see the cover of that Economist article. It says women are now taking over half of the workplace. There are more women working than men. But still there is a gap in wage and still there is a gap in terms of positions they take in board levels. So, but actually you see the picture and it says we are strong, women are strong and actually what's happening all over the world is there's a silent revolution going on because we did take in numbers, we did take over the workplace only not yet in terms of wage, not yet in terms of management positions. But there's hope. What the article in The Economist also is mentioning worldwide women are still struggling with work-life balance it was mentioned by some of the previous speakers. It's still a, a challenge to combine your ambitions in work and life. The question is, are there solutions? Are there perhaps technical solutions? Uh, there's many books written about it, Women at the Top. How combined female li leaders, how do they combine work and family? There's also books been written about the opt-out revolution. Women leave the careers because they cannot make a career in a corporate environment and that's why they start their own business, for example. I've also written a book about this subject and what's happening with female ambition worldwide. And my book is named From Your Heart to Success in Work, Life and Family. And what I've been, written, been writing about in the book is about my magazine, a magazine that I started in 2007 and I really started it not because I was a publisher before, not because I had any money, but just because I really wanted to start a magazine that shows that women can have a career and a family at the same time. And you see a picture there of a judge ironing while her three sons are behind her, looking at her. And this image shocked the Dutch media because how can you have a judge, which is a very serious profession, how can she be ironing at the same time? Actually, it was an illegal picture because it's not allowed to have uh, somebody in uniform like, an, like a judge has to show her in a different environment, not, definitely not in a household environment. So, but that's exactly what we wanted. We wanted to kind of create a shock effect. So this is what, what we wanted to do, to change the perception of media, putting women in a traditional place, we wanted to show that women can have careers and be a good mother at the same time. So, but because we are a magazine with a mission, we didn't want to only stay at that level. We also wanted to influence companies who employ women. And I was very impressed by the example already what, you provide, what you're providing for your women. Because we started a list of the best employers for working women. And there's already uh, 100 companies on that list. And what we do, we, by the use of technology again, we, we kind of demonstrate what companies do to allow women and men to make use of flex work policies, how they can use all the new techniques to work at home, for example. Other things that we did, we came up with uh, role models. We start a community. We have an active community where we discuss topics on how to combine work and family. As I mentioned, we started the list for the best employers and we started the Love Next Role Model Award. Um, this is highly successful. This is an election on the internet whereby you can put forward somebody who in your eyes is a role model or a man. We, we don't, we not to, uh, we also think that men can be role models in terms of combining career and family. And there's already a lot of votes every time we start an election, there's a lot of votes coming up and in the end we have a winner and this winner will be portrayed in the media and be one year our champion. 
So it's a highly successful election, and we think it's very useful to portray these role models. Actually, right now there's an election going on on uh, women who, who have a lot of CSR responsibilities. So we meet a lot of Dutch women who are, uh, have a potential to reach out to the world through their CSR work. The question, uh, and that's the question I would like to put forward to you all, what is ambition? Is, it, is, ambition, is ambition something that you allow yourself to have? Or do you think it's selfish to have a career and a family? Do you feel sometimes guilty because you want to have it all? You want a career and you want to have children. What I discovered is that many women, and again, I think it's universal, do deep inside have this kind of feeling, am I allowed to really go after my ambition? And do I not have to feel guilty about my children? And that's now is the time that I want to show you something that I learned from my yoga, my Sri Sri Yoga teacher, and I would like you to stand up, is that when I started my career, I thought of, Career is one part of me, and family is the other part of me. And what I discovered through many things, but also through Sishi Yoga, is if you can follow me, if you put your right hand on your left shoulder, <laughs> and then the other hand on this shoulder, this is something we do at Sishi Yoga, then you're in a position to really give yourself a big hug, aren't you? Give yourself a big hug. And this is what I really think what we need to do more often as women, because this way we can feel that you're very special, that we are very special, because we care for our families, we care for our work, we care for society. We want to change things. And empowering of women really starts with hugging ourselves every day and telling ourselves how powerful and special we are. Thank you.